fight against COVID, there's lots of vaccine news. Tomorrow, the FDA will meet to consider approving booster shots from Moderna and Johnson & Johnson. Now, ahead of that meeting, an important study has been released on who can get which shots. Dan Bowens joins us now with the latest, Dan. Yeah, Steve, anyone who has wondered about mixing and matching vaccines to get a booster, this is possibly big news. But first, a big decision. OSHA, the agency that regulates workplace safety and health, submitting its draft of a federal vaccine requirement that could affect more than 100 million Americans and reach the millions more who are unvaccinated. The sweeping new rules could become reality soon, requiring every business with 100 or more employees to mandate vaccines or administer weekly tests. The White House insisting it's key to helping the economy. People want to work, shop, and visit where they feel safe. And that's why vaccination requirements are supported by the majority of American people. And some businesses that have already put requirements in place might welcome the backing of the federal government, says employment attorney John Bell. Private employers could go beyond the Biden mandate and say, listen, we don't even want to deal with weekly testing. Either you work here, you get the vaccination, or you can't continue to work. But at least two dozen Republican attorneys general have already threatened lawsuits. And this week, the governor of Texas barred vaccine mandates there and don't expect every business to be on board. There are employers who are saying, listen, we're struggling to find employees already. And there's also big news for people wondering what to do about a possible booster shot. That's a big thing for people to wonder, can I mix and match my vaccines? That's been a big question on a lot of people's mind, which is if I got a dose of Pfizer, can I get a booster with Moderna? Now a highly anticipated study from the National Institutes of Health shows mixing and matching booster shots can be safe and effective, especially for people who initially received the Johnson & Johnson dose. Stephanie Silvera is an epidemiologist and professor at Montclair State. When you do the mix and match, particularly for people who initially had the J&J &J vaccine, that antibody response went up even higher if they had their second dose as one of the mRNA vaccines, either the Pfizer or the Moderna. So a lot going on here. The FDA will meet about booster shots this week for Johnson & Johnson and Moderna. Now, it's unlikely a recommendation on mixing and matching will be made at this point, but Stephanie, the epidemiologist who you heard, just heard there, says it is a good first step. Steve? Very well. All right. Thanks, Dan.